dear. This is what happens when you don't set alarms. Uh-oh. So starting this one where the late yesterday's uh, ended. And that's not bad. 32 minutes to export 36 gigabytes. Not bad at all. You knew it was happening. You guys haven't seen these for a couple of days, have you? Hello, Tinker. Good morning. Let's get you some breakfast. Watch how quick these guys can get out the cage now. Look at that. Record time. This is the thing that you guys haven't seen. Willow, come here. Wills, what's this? After she does whatever, they will actually go to it. Hey, look at that. Great success. I'm really glad that they've actually taken onto their food because uh, Saturday they'll be six weeks old, which is when they start getting weaned off, I think. And Tinker's nipples are like basically falling off anyway, so. <laughs> Poor Tink's just get ripped to sh. So I'll give her that. Go get him! Get him! Oh. Hey, look at Randy oh, Orton slithering. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh. Oh. Hey, come out of nowhere! Sorry. It was your fault. Your idea having them. Um, Willow, that, that's your daddy's toy, not not yours. Um, come back with it, maybe? Uh. Hello, Ruby. Oh, there she is. Yes, and they have forgotten about their toys, and they're going to eat some more food. Ah. Why have you got to be different? Ruby. Ruby. Go back to your food. Oh, yeah, and Willow's still got her assault course. She, a minute ago, just ran with that rubber ball... From here, not to head out on the cage, ran all the way around there, all the way around the parrot. Parrot screened at her and then ran back down here and then attempted to jump up here to which she landed on her back. I spy a problem. What are you doing? Bloody puppy. And it's a parrot. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, for a moment, I thought I had actually lost the puppies, but it seems that Tinker is guarding them because they have a new bed. Hello, hello. You are so beautiful. Okay then, I'm, I'm just gonna... Bye bye now. Anywho, I am now gonna go upstairs because I've decided today is gonna be the day that I'm actually gonna put the little holes, probably about that big, uh, into the desk because my computer overheated again last night during editing, um, which is not what you want when you've got a two and a half thousand pound computer because it could fry very expensive shit. So I'll see you guys upstairs because I ain't doing none of that stairs filming shit today because I need that. Actually, I was lying. I'm going to make another coffee because I'm thirsty AF. And it was like one o'clock. Trigger! Well, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all of those. Again, another plug of the feature wall. How cool is that Back to the Future poster? Shout out uh, Bournemouth HMV, I think, where I got the Pokemon one and that. But anyway, back to what I was actually talking about. In order to get there, which is covered in Gemma's clothes and drills and stuff, and bears, which I've all got to move, that means I have to put our massive bed away, which I'm about to do. Boom! There we go. It's all done. And that's what the room now looks like. Second job, like I said, is to clear the desk in three, two. I can't do that properly. Can anyone else not do that? Anyway, three, two, one, zero. Getting quite good at this magic stuff, aren't I? But... I also found out, I still have a PS3 lurking, it's plugged into that. I thought I got rid of it. But anyway, I'm gonna get on. What I need to do is make holes here. Because the main problem is, there's no ventilation. So that thing, the fan, is the whole way along here. Ooh, dust. Yeah, and just to let you know, I'm not actually unplugging that because I can't even bother. And I actually just thought while I was walking downstairs to get the pumpy, uh, if there's going to be holes underneath there, it's going to do nothing because the PS3's there. Anyway, time to get the drill. <laughs> so we are through. This is where it gets difficult though. That bad boy is uh, staying up now. So as you can see, the desk is actually kind of thick what it's going through. I don't know, I think the holes are hollow. No, they're like honeycomb. So it will work, but what I'm going to do is do a ton of little holes around the big ones 
and do maybe some big ones at the back. But the only thing I've got to be careful for is A, I've got to tidy it up in here because it looks like shit. And B, oh, I've got to be careful not to go through the lights because I'm actually saying that they're only LED, that won't kill anybody. Well, that's that all done. Doesn't actually look too bad under there. But I'm going to continue and clean up all that crap and put it back. So, yeah, let the fun begin. So I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with the fact that I just realised this is recording the other way around. So I'm going to have to rotate at 90 degrees. But yeah, it all works very well. Hello there, big beard. But yeah, see that? I've even got Eddie Murphy back. It's not really Eddie Murphy, it's the limited edition. Wait, that big thing. What can I say? I like games. So I went from one extreme to the second. I don't really enjoy this one. Wrapping Christmas presents with Bay. Hello, not Bay. Them. Well, I'm helping you, and I. Well, you're not wrapping, though, are you? Shut it. <laughs> and finally, it's recording. So Sky's trying to chase a uh, fly around the kitchen. Sky, found it. Sky, get. Oh. Get it, Sky. What was that? You know when you see something, you think you're really, really, really dumb. <laughs> Yeah, actually, in all fairness, <laughs> that is what thickness Sky. looks like. Sky! Sky! Sky's there! Sky's there. I get it! Sky, quick! Honestly, have you seen anything so beautiful but so dumb? Sky! She's looking at the fly. Sky, where is it? Don't know! Get it! Uh, it's got a lot later now, and. I need to stop doing this, but I'm going down McDonald's and the garage because I'm thirsty as fuck. Yeah.